Okay, I'm back again with a quick review. This time on the HQRP 6 watt flexible solar panel. Uh, this is a 12 volt monocrystalline solar cell, which makes it quite interesting uh, because usually crystalline cells aren't known for their flexibility. Uh, this panel is engineered though to allow those cells to flex about 30 degrees, so a pretty cool panel, which is one of the main reasons I want to review it. So I've been reviewing this for the past month. Uh, HQRP went ahead and sent me this panel for review. So I want to first go ahead and thank them for doing that. I really do appreciate it. Uh, the panel over the past month has been through a lot. Uh, not only my own torture testing with me walking on it, shoving it in the bathtub to see if it was waterproof, uh, past all of my testing as well as Mother Nature's testing. Uh, Michigan here, we've had some pretty weird weather over the past month. We've had storms, uh, severe thunderstorms, where tree limbs are all over the yard. Uh, this panel was outdoors during that time and got rained on pretty hard. Um, it also flopped around the deck because it is uh, something I sort of temporarily mounted out there just for my testing. So it wasn't permanently mounted, so it did flop around my deck. Uh, took a few good hits, uh, fell from about two feet and it survived so pretty good in that area uh, it also has been through extreme heat uh, we again this is michigan uh, we've had you know 100 degree weather you know within just a couple of weeks after that and in between then we had 40 degree nights so uh, pretty weird weather situations this has been through and it survived with flying colors i haven't noticed a single issue with it um, what i did when I first started testing this, uh, the first day is I went ahead and measured the open circuit voltage, which was around 20 volts, and I also measured the current. Uh, and the current was just under 400 milliamps. It's rated for uh, 360 milliamps, but this being a brand new panel, it's going to always uh, perform better than its rated capacity. That's just a general uh, thing for most new panels. So. Uh, after you know the month I tested it just yesterday and it's still putting out 20 volts open circuit as well as just under 400 milliamps so after being through storms hot weather everything like that uh, still is performing quite well so let me give you a few specs uh, as far as what it's made out of it's made out of a thin laminated coating over the crystalline solar cells and behind the solar cells is a thin aluminum backing. Uh, it has a height of around 20 inches, a width of just over 6 inches. Uh, the cable coming out of the junction box is going to be around 22 inches long and it's just bare wires. Uh, as far as the weight, it only weighs 11 ounces and again, uh, it's a 6 watt panel so it's going to be ultra light weight. Uh, one of my 5 watt, and I actually have one here, one of my 5 watt uh, full glass covering and aluminum frame panels is going to weigh slightly over three pounds so uh, that shows you just how lightweight the uh, flexible panel is and it's not much taller than the uh, standard glass and frame panel but it's going to be a little bit uh, thinner as you guys can see so as far as what you can use this panel for because that's probably the main point of this video is you can use it for lightweight, light duty devices to either run them directly or recharge uh, battery based devices. What I've been doing with it uh, for the past month is running a cord into my room just through my window to run a small fan, uh, just a small 10 watt uh, 12 volt automotive fan, something you will stick in your cigarette lighter to keep you cool in your car and it's actually spun that fan quite well. Uh, even though the panel's rated for less capacity. I went ahead and used that fan outdoors whenever I was working outdoors and I was hot. Uh, the panel, of course, is lightweight and portable, so I could take it with me quite easily. I also recharged a number of devices. I uh, have a USB dongle here, which just takes 12 volts in, spits out 5 volts. It can recharge your cell phone and whatever else works off of USB, uh, like this USB battery charger I have here fully charges my batteries in a day worth of sunlight. I also charged up a couple of different power packs. Uh, this Xantrex Power Source Mobile 100 unit. 
Uh, takes about five hours to charge. It has a four amp hour uh, 12 volt battery and I found the solar panel to charge it just as quickly as the wall adapter was. Uh, wall adapter did. Uh, one thing I will note is that I didn't have to use a charge controller because the Xantrex automatically has one uh, built into it. It allows it to work with solar. Also charged one of my jump starters. Just a 10 amp hour jump starter which has uh, 12 volt output so that I can run different devices off of it and keep it charged up. Uh, I didn't have to use a charge controller on this one either because it automatically uh, shuts off. It has its own built-in charge controller via a barrel plug there. And even if you don't have a charge controller, as long as your load is larger than the solar input, you don't really need a charge controller. But to be safe, uh, if you're going to leave it unattended without checking the voltage, uh, you definitely might want to add one. So other usage for this is to maintain the battery on an RV. I think that's one of the uh, primary reasons this panel was built with its flexibility in mind because a lot of times they don't have uh, flat roofs. You know, they sort of pitch up for a uh, you know interior room or either some type of air conditioner. So this can be mounted to an RV uh, with the included mounting materials. Um, just comes with a little baggie of uh, Velcro with an adhesive backing and also some screws so you can sort of cinch those down a little bit better and that way you can mount it to your RV and uh, just velcro it off whenever you don't want to use the solar panel. So it's been a pretty neat device over the past month. Uh, definitely has held up quite well for our weird weather here in Michigan and there's only a few issues to note. Uh, the first thing is going to be that this is a laminated plastic exterior so it is going to get scratches uh, especially if it falls or flops around on your deck like it did on me uh, because of the storms uh, so that's one thing to note it's not glass it's plastic so be careful with it as far as uh, getting it scratched uh, it also is pretty thin so I uh, do have some uh, some issues with the corners rolling up with the aluminum backing but uh, that's again damage from the storm this can easily be repaired with a pair of pliers and a little bit of silicone which I'm gonna do uh, shortly after this video so as far as where you can get this panel you can pick this up from hqrp.com and also amazon.com prices range from thirty to forty dollars so it's pretty affordable for a flexible solar cell uh, one thing I almost forgot to mention is the fact that the junction box is fully sealed with silicone so this is completely uh, waterproof you can leave this outdoors year-round without any problems uh, as far as the rated life uh, HQRP says that this should last uh, three years problem free and they have seen panels like this go for 10 years that's a little bit less uh, reliability than again a standard glass and frame panel but that's just because of its construction. Uh, if you're just using this for temporary use, you can get much longer uh, life out of it if you uh, just sort of keep this in your closet or your RV for emergency use. So that was just my quick review on the HQRP 6 watt flexible solar panel. Again, you guys can check out the websites. Links are in the description to buy this. So thanks again for watching. Peace.